At number nine, I have Dolph Shays. Uh, Dolph Shays was a winner in every sense of the word. Uh, he played 16 seasons uh, for the Syracuse Nationals, who later become the Philadelphia 76ers uh, late in Shays' career. In those 16 seasons, 15 times, Shays led his team to the postseason. Drafted in 1948 from NYU, the 6'7", 195 pound Shays will become known for his lethal, high arcing outside set shot, uh, later nicknamed Sputnik after the famous Russian satellite at the time. He was perhaps the last to use uh, that particular form of shot, the set shot, uh, before the one-handed jump shot became ubiquitous uh, in the NBA and society as a whole. An early injury to Shays' right arm forced him to learn how to shoot with his left hand. And this uh, helped him become an even deadlier scorer. Uh, in addition to his great outside shot, he had a tremendous burst of speed when driving to the basket, which helped to make him a, a deadly multi-dimensional scoring threat. Uh, Shays was the 1948-49 Rookie of the Year. In the 1950-51 season, Shays led the NBA in rebounding with 1,080 total. Uh, this was at a time when rebounding leaders and uh, statistical leaders as a whole were chosen by total and not by average. Although Shays averaged 16.4 rebounds a game as well. Uh, the 1954-55 season culminated with Shays winning his first and only championship with the Nationals. Shays was basketball original Iron Man. He didn't miss a single game from February 17, 1952 to December 26, 1961, a then NBA record streak of 706 games. Shays got to the foul line a lot and was also a terrific free throw shooter, making it count when he got there. Uh, he led the NBA in that category, free throw percentage, four times. In 1961, he became the first player in NBA history to reach 30,000 PRA, which is point rebounds and assists. And he was probably behind Bob Pettit, the best scoring power forward in the league in his era. When he was finished in 1964, he had amassed 19,247 points. Now keep in mind that seasons were shorter back then and reached a career high of 50 points against Bill Russell's Celtics in 1959. His career averages uh, professionally were 18.2 points, 12.1 rebounds, and 3.1 assists. Shays was named player coach of the Philadelphia 76ers in 1963 and was the NBA coach of the year in 1966. Uh, for his career, Shays was a 12-time NBA All-Star, six times he was an All-NBA First Team, six times he was an All-NBA Second Team. He was uh, elected in 1972 to the Naismith Basketball uh, Hall of Fame. And in 1996, he was named one of the 50 greatest players in NBA history, Dolph Shays.